welcome to this, which is part of an irregular series uh, of vlogs of me walking the Wandle Trail, which is all local to me. It goes from Carshalton, where I live, um, up into uh, Wandsworth, uh, just south of the River Thames. So what we're doing is starting in Beddington Park today. I'm going to walk up to Crewe Manor, and then from Crewe Manor up to Wadden just to show you some of the sights in this really warm September day. So let's go. We're going to Beddington Park. Lovely. We went out for a walk. Well, it's a Thursday morning, so not many people out. Crossing the river. We're going to head up then towards uh, Crew Manor. Meadow information board. Beddington Park would have been a hunting area, hunting ground, back in medieval times when the Crew family first came here in the uh, 1400s. It's been a park pretty much ever since then. Here we are at St Mary's Church and Crew Manor over there. A little bit of trivia for you. I've used this place as a filming location over the years. And this place here was used in my 2001 opening sequence to my really appalling fantasy flick, Dawn Razor. There's a fight scene at the beginning for you shot here. And, oh, there's a truck going just as I'm filming. How fantastic. And just here. Am I interrupting something? It was quite fun. I remember us letting the police know that we were going to be out here at like nine o'clock at night um, filming. And they came along just watched us doing it. It was quite fun. My first proper movie with like nice cameras and everything. It was all right. The script was awful. But yeah. Right. Let's go and look into St Mary's Church. St Mary's also was used um, as a location for a, one of my first videos I ever did back in 1991-92. We did a fan movie and we used this as the opening sequence in the dark. Oh the innocent days of filmmaking. Beddington would have been part of the Wallington 100 uh, back in the medieval period. Obviously now it's part of the London Borough of Sutton. It's a lovely old church this. I'm fascinated by the old doors here. Always happy to have been gone about it. I mean, I'm sort of, so I've said before, I'm not that tall, but people are shorter. Our diet's changed, hopefully in the last couple of hundred years. And here you have the lovely Crew Manor. The original part of the building was built in the 1400s for the Crew family. Lovely ornate door towards the end of it. And this would have been the entrance. As you can see, it looked like a pathway going into Beddington Park. And that would come straight up to the main entrance up there. And Crew Manor has a Grey One listed hammer beam roof in the main hall. We were actually very fortunate enough to uh, investigate here on a paranormal investigation back in 2008, 10 years ago, which is really interesting. 
I don't know if it stems from my interest in the paranormal, but this was the first place that I ever heard of being haunted when I was a kid. And nowadays I don't like the word haunted, I think it's silly. But uh, back when I was an impressionable young man, or young boy, that's where it was. So yeah, Crew Manor. Yeah, I'd love to get back in there actually. That was, good. that was a good night that was. I'll put the link below. To the Dovecote, which was built by Nicholas Cruz, quite a few Nicholas Cruz, around 1715. Ooh, you can actually get in these on certain tours on certain Sundays. It's lovely. Go past the nice Beddington Park cottages. Cast Shorten Ponds, we'll go down the next one, and the Wandle Trail Wooden Ponds this way. I've lived in the area since. The early 19. It's only recently that I discovered all this. I knew it was here, but I just never really walked it before. So it's uh, always interesting to explore your local area, finding things that you never knew were there, which I found is quite apparent. Oh, you go that way, didn't we? We're now heading up to Wadden. Okay, ah, here we are. Wendell Trail. River Wandle. All this area was heavy industry for hundreds of years. And cotton, and there were mills all over the place, which are now some of them are converted into flats. We'll see one in a minute actually when we uh, go through. We'll cross the road in a minute and we'll go down past the old. Uh, mill cottages that are now being bought. They were workers' cottages back in the day. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we've just crossed the road. I'm just heading down to the cottages. Now a little bit further before the end. So here are the cottages that would have been Worksmen's cottages back in the day. It's all rather lovely. And this person there having a little river at the bottom of your garden. Fantastic. And here was what was called Beddington Mills, which I think are now apartments. But that was one of the old mills used for industry for many years. So there you have it. The wonder end of the trail. It's only a little bit further to go up to Wadden. I hope you join me next time. If you like, subscribe, leave a comment and we'll see you later. Happy walking. <laughs>